again, this is Alan, and I'm back with another James Bond movie review for you, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 18th James Bond movie, Tomorrow Never Dies, starring Pierce Brosnan as James Bond 007. And basically the plot of Tomorrow Never Dies is that Bond is going up against a psychotic media mogul by the name of Elliot Carver, who... Not, he doesn't want to take over the world per se, but he does want to take over the world's media. And basically, Elliot Carver hatches this crazy, crazy plot where he wants to start a war between the British and the Chinese. That way, Elliot can get exclusive broadcasting rights for his media divisions uh, in China. The exclusive broadcasting rights in China. And basically, it's up to 007 to stop him. And that's basically the plot right there of Tomorrow Never Dies. Tomorrow Never Dies. Well, in my opinion, it's another winner for Pierce Brosnan. Yes, it is. Um, I love Tomorrow Never Dies. This is a terrific James Bond movie as far as I'm concerned. And the thing is, I mean, I also loved uh, Pierce Brosnan's debut Bond film, GoldenEye. But you know what? I love Tomorrow Never Dies just a little bit more than GoldenEye. Just a little bit more. As a matter of fact, this is my pick for Pierce Brosnan's best James Bond movie. Uh, Tomorrow Never Dies is a whole lot of fun. Great action. It moves along quickly. Uh, it has a very stylish look to it. Uh, the cast is great. Brosnan is even better as 007 than, than he was in GoldenEye. And for me, this, this is a really, really cool James Bond movie, uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. As far as Pierce Brosnan himself goes, I do think that his performance here is even better than what he did in GoldenEye. Um, again, some people might argue that in GoldenEye he didn't quite have it yet. I, I liked his performance in GoldenEye just fine. I really did. But here in Tomorrow Never Dies, you know, this is his second time out as, as 007. Brosnan, I think, is a little more assured, uh, a little more settled into the role, and I do think that he's definitely shown some growth. Again, I like his performance in GoldenEye, but here I think he really is improved, and uh, he has an even better handle on playing James Bond uh, than he did in GoldenEye. Whatever he may lack, you know, physically uh, in muscles, uh, I do think that Brosnan is really, really good in the action scenes. The guy knows how to fight, he's suave, he's cool, and in my book, he's a very good James Bond. Elliot Carver, that's the villain in this movie, played by Jonathan Price, and he is terrific. I mean, Jonathan Price, I mean, he's a total sicko, and yet he's got businessman smarts, you know, he's he's cool, he's got some sort of logic to him, you know, and, and yet he's he's crazy, but he's crazy with cool, he's crazy with, with confidence, he's crazy with, with suave, and he looks good in his dark suit. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's an excellent performance from, from Jonathan Price. I mean, he's crazy, but he's cool, and I like that mixture. Uh, that makes him, I think, a very charismatic villain, and he's a very memorable villain indeed. Jonathan Price as Elliot Carver. To the Bond girls now. Um, you've got one great Bond girl and a not-so-great Bond girl. Uh, the not-so-great Bond girl is uh, Terry Hatcher, who plays Elliot Carver's wife, Paris. Uh, you know, Terry Hatcher, she's very pretty, and she's a decent actress, but you know what? I just didn't buy her performance here as Paris Carver. I think she comes across as very wooden, not a very convincing performance. Even though she's pretty, she plays an old flame of, of James Bond's, and uh, I don't know. I just don't think uh, Terry Hatcher gave the performance what she should have given it. Um, I do believe that uh, she was in the very early stages of pregnancy, the very early of early stages of pregnancy at the time she played this part and uh, maybe that had something to do with her not so great performance I mean I don't know the good news is is that she disappears early <laughs> She's not in the movie for very long. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, she doesn't tarnish uh, the, the movie in any way. The other Bond girl, however, is terrific. And that's uh, Michelle Yeoh, who plays a Chinese agent called Wei Lin, uh, who helps Bond on his mission. And, you know, Michelle Yeoh, she's one of uh, the greatest uh, martial arts experts out there. She, she's the female Jackie Chan. She's always been referred to as the female Jackie Chan or like the female Bruce Lee. I mean, she's worked with Jackie Chan. She, she did uh, several films with, uh, with Jackie and she does her own action films and she's good with the kung fu and she does her own stunts just like Jackie Chan um, and uh, she's very beautiful uh, she speaks perfect English I mean I mean she's of Chinese descent uh, I, I believe but she speaks perfect English very beautiful but she's great with the action stuff I mean she's great with action stuff and you may also know that uh, Michelle Yeoh went on to to be in the Oscar winning movie Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon that's another film that uh, audiences may know Michelle Yeoh from but anyway she's terrific here uh, in Tomorrow Never Dies uh, she and Brosnan great chemistry uh, they make a great duo in this movie and again Michelle Yeoh she's got it all she's got the beauty she's got the brains and she's 
she's got the martial arts talent. She's great, and she makes a wonderful partner for Pierce Brosnan's 007 in this movie. I love the action scenes. All the action scenes in this movie are terrific. The pre-credits action scene where uh, Bond he gets into a jet plane and has to drive it off the runway. I, th I think he, he's in Russia. Is he in Russia? But anyway, the pre-credit sequence where he has to hijack a, a, a jet plane because it has a nuclear bomb and he has to get it out of there, and uh, that's really well done. And then, of course, later on is one of my all-time favorite action scenes in the entire James Bond series, and you find it right here in Tomorrow Never Dies, where Bond is in the back seat of his high-tech BMW 750 that Q gave him, and he's driving the car by remote control as the bad guys are firing on him. He's in a parking garage. He's driving all around the parking garage. The bad guys are firing at him and chasing him all throughout the parking garage. And there's Bond in the back seat with his remote control uh, driving the car. And I got to tell you, this this is one of the all-time great action scenes, I think, in the James Bond series. I mean, that, that chase scene in the parking garage with Bond in the back seat controlling the car by remote control is so well done. Great action, and it, it's just a ton of fun to watch. And of course, later on in the action scene, uh, the action scene with Bon and Waylon on the motorbike going through the streets, and they're being chased by a helicopter, and, and they're driving the motorbike through all different kinds of buildings and houses and things like that, and they're leaping off over uh, rooftops and things like that. All that action stuff with the motorbike is great. And of course, the final showdown at the end of the movie on board uh, Elliot Carver's stealth ship where Bond and Waylon get on board the stealth ship and got to take on Carver and his heavies, including his his henchman, uh, Stamper. It's really great stuff. I, I love the action scenes here. Um, oh, I must make special mention of, uh, let's see, I hope I'm pronouncing this actor's name right, Vincent Schiavelli as Dr. Kaufman, a very funny performance as a torture expert who uh, basically, well, he's responsible, I, I guess, for, uh, for the death of uh, Elliot Carver's wife, uh, Paris in the movie, and then he threatens Bond, and uh, he has a very funny scene where he's he's got Bond at gunpoint, and he's about to, to kill Bond, and then he gets a call from Stamper that uh, the bad guys can't get into Bond's car. Uh, they need to get into Bond's car to get a device, and he says, no, no, no. it seems they cannot get into your car. Uh, Please tell me how to open the car. I'm to torture you if you don't do it. Uh, he's very funny. Again, the actor's name, Vincent Schiavelli as, as Dr. Kaufman. I mean, he's only in that one scene, but he really makes a great impression. I think direction by Roger Spottiswood is excellent. Right on the money. Great direction from Roger Spottiswood. Uh, this is the first score composed by David Arnold, who would go on to do a few more Bond movies. I really like his score for Tomorrow Never Dies very much. Very energetic, very uh, slick, and definitely an improvement from Eric Serra's not-so-great score of a uh, golden eye so david arnold excellent score oh and i guess one last thing i'll mention is the theme song for tomorrow never dies it's sung by cheryl crow and it's very good i, I like it a lot but you know what i can't help but wonder if, if cheryl crow ripped off the the theme music to perry mason you know that old tv series the old classic tv series with raymond burr as perry mason i mean that theme music went da 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 and some of the, the theme song to Tomorrow Never Dies sounds like a ripoff of Perry Mason, you know? Until the day, da 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 da, until the world falls away, da 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 da. Total Perry Mason music uh, in, in the theme song uh, for Tomorrow Never Dies. It's still a good theme song, I like it, and then Cheryl Crow sings it real well, but I just can't help but wonder if she nicked uh, a piece off the uh, Perry Mason theme music uh, for her tune. Just something that I wonder about. But anyway, Tomorrow Never Dies, you know, this is a terrific Bond movie in my book and a terrific uh, movie for Pierce Brosnan's 007, and it's my personal favorite of uh, the Pierce Brosnan Bond movies, and uh, I like it a lot. And that's my review of Tomorrow Never Dies. And next time on James Bond Movie Review, Pierce Brosnan returns for his third go-round as 007 in The World Is Not Enough. Next time on James Bond Movie Review, this is Alan, and I'll see you then.